Hi everyone. Welcome to Cosmos 2021. A life of joy and happiness is possible only on the basis of knowledge and science. Dr. S. Radhakrishnan. Today, National Science Day. Science is a way of a life. Science is a perspective. And science is the process which leads us from confusion to understanding. Every year, National Science Day is celebrated to commemorate the discovery of the Raman effect. This day, Sir C. V. Raman had announced the discovery of Raman effect, which was awarded Nobel Prize in 1930. The theme for this year is Future of STI Impacts on Education Skills and Works. We, Paishraja School, is also celebrating the prestigious day with the support of our young talents with their presentation and participation on various events. I request all of your full-hearted support for the event. Sir Chandrasekhar Venkat Raman was an Indian physicist whose work was influential in the growth of science in India. He was the recipient of the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1930 for the discovery that when light traverses a transparent material, some of the light that is deflected changes in wavelength. This phenomenon is now called Raman scattering and is the result of Raman's effect. In 1986, the National Council for Science and Technology Communication asked the Government of India to designate February 28th as National Science Day to mark the discovery of Raman effect by the Indian physicist Sir C. V. Raman on 28th February 1928. Theme for the National Science Day 2021 is Future of STI Impact on Education, Skills and Work. Objectives of celebrating National Science Day To spread a message about the importance of science used in our daily life of the people To display all the activities, effort and achievement in the field of science for human welfare To discuss all the issues and implement new technologies for the development in the field of science To give an opportunity to the scientific minded citizens in India to encourage the people as well as the popularize science and technology. Chandrasekhar Venkat Raman was born on November 7, 1888 in Tirchanapalli, Tamil Nadu. Second child of Chandrasekhar Ayer and Parvati Amma. His father was a lecturer in mathematics and physics. Studied at St. Aloysius Anglo-Indian High School, Vishakapatnam. In 1904, passed his BA examination, winning the first place and the gold medal in physics. In 1907, C. V. Raman passed his MA, obtaining the highest distinction. During those times, there were not many opportunities for scientists in India. Therefore, Raman joined the Indian Finance Department in 1907. After his office hours, he carried out his experimental research in the laboratory of Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science at Calcutta. He carried out his research in acoustic and optics. In 1970, Raman was offered the position of Sir Taraknath Palit Professorship of Physics at Calcutta University. He stayed there for the next 15 years. During his tenure, there he received the worldwide recognition for his work in optics and scattering of light. He was elected to the Royal Society of London in 1924 and the British made him Knight of the British Empire in 1929. In 1930, Sir Sevi Raman was awarded with Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on scattering of light. The discovery was later christened as Raman Effect. In 1934, Sir C. V. Raman became the director of newly established 
Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore where 2 years later he continued as a professor of physics in 1947 he was appointed as the first national professor by the new government of independent india he retired from the indian institute in 1948 and a year later he established the raman research institute in bangalore where he worked till his death sir c v raman died on november 21st 1970 Awards and Honours Fellow of the Royal Society Matthew Shee Medal Knight Bachelor Nobel Prize for Physics Bharat Ratna Lenin Peace Prize Important Contributions of Raman Blue Color of the Sea Water Discovery of Raman Effect Ramnath Theory Study on Brilliant scattering, discovery of the soft mode, other contributions, optical and magnetic anisotropy, acoustic and Indian classical music, crystal dynamics, physiology of color and vision. Master of my failure. If I never fail, how will I learn? C. V. Raman. A very good morning to all my respected teachers, the honourable principal, and my dear friends. Today, I am here to share my views on the topic science and technology on this auspicious National Science Day. Many Indian scientists have succeeded in making India. from globally and indian physicist sir c v raman is one of them we celebrate national science day of india on february 28 every year to mark the discovery of raman effect for which he was awarded prestigious nobel prize for physics in 1930 the 21st century is the century of science and technology today we do almost all our work with the help of science and technology every person has his own view points some says it is good while others say it is bad but that is nothing good or bad it depends on the man how he utilize it science it is on is nothing it is created by humans and is used by them in any way he want from talking with a person who is sitting 100 kilometers away to reaching anywhere on time in the ac car we all are dependent on technology today science and technology is the most important thing in our everyday life that we can't even imagine our life without the science and technology to get knowledge the only thing you need to do is to open up your browser and search for whatever you want language is not a problem in a new place when you have google translator with you there is no need of going to banks to transfer money or for any other purposes there is no need of taking movie tickets railway tickets plane tickets bus tickets etc by standing in the long queue you can do it by sitting anywhere on the earth by simply touching on your phones aryabhata and chandrayaan to reach on moon are also gifts of science during this pandemic situation also science and technology helps us a lot it plays a vital role in our educational system not only for an individual but it has also proved beneficial for a particular region it helps the defense system of a country the growth in the economic system of the country also depends on the growth of science and technology of that country overall we can say that science and technology has brought the entire world into our hands but like every coin has two sides with the advancement of science and technology several disadvantages have also been developed like modern wars of different nations are devastating and destructive many deadly weapons have been developed in this modern times modern technology like mobile phones 
tabs, laptops, computers, etc. are creating bad effects on children. Not only for humans, but it is also affecting the plants and other creatures living on this earth. It's destroying the beauty of the nature. Every single individual today has a mobile phone in their hands with their heads down looking at it all the time. Yes, I agree that science and technology is improving the conditions of men's life. But what about we humans? Are we also improving? We need to understand that science and technology and its inventions are made with the hope of improving our life and not to make us lazy. But it's affecting many people's health and lifestyles. Even children are becoming blind because of this digital light. Many children are addicted to the online games. Losing phone is like losing life. We have stopped writing letters since we have WhatsApp and email. And there are many disadvantages like this. We are acting like phone is more important than food. Because every country is working hard to become the most advanced country in the world and not to become the agriculturally productive country in the world. We need to understand that these inventions are made to improve the conditions of men's life and not with the hope of removing peace from their life. As I said earlier, science and technology depends on the man how he utilizes it. We can use it to connect people and also to destroy them by dropping dangerous bombs and deadly weapons. I would like to conclude my words by saying that science and technology is very much useful as much as dangerous. So, let's use it to improve our life. Let's use it for a better future. Let's use it to connect people and not to separate them. Thank you. Greetings everyone. National Science Day is celebrated every year across our country to spread the awareness of the latest scientific achievements, to understand the significance of science in the daily life of people, to inspire children to do new experiments and to attract them to the field of science. Everything is impossible unless it is done. Today, we celebrate the 35th National Science Day on this online platform. Parshiraja School proudly presents you, the curious young minds, our young scientists with their presentations, students of 1 and 2 with their talk show, 3 and 4 with their model making and symbol experiments, 5 to 8 with their speech contest, model making and simple experiments. Motivate them, inspire them. Over to them.
Thank you. My pet animal is cat. Its name is Tommy. Its cream yum yum yum. It is grey color. It has long tail. It is very beautiful. I love it, Tommy. Thank you. Hi everyone. My name is Isha Muhammad. I am studying in first standard. Do you have a pet animal? I have a pet animal. Rocky, come. This is my pet dog Rocky. He is strong and active. He runs very fast. His favorite foods are bread and meat. He is friendly and playful with everyone. He guard our house from bad people. I love my Rocky very much. This is all about my pet dog Rocky. Thank you. Have a nice day. Pet dog. I have a pet dog. Her name is Betty. She is white and brown in color. She is a Labrador. She is strong and active. Her favorite food is rice and fish. She loves to play with the ball. She runs very fast. She protect our home. It is a faithful animal. I love my baby very much. Thank you. Good morning teachers and my dear friends. Today I am saying about uh, my pet animal dog. Its name is Snowy. It's in white in color. It's It has, has, has long hair on its body. He loves to eat. I like to play with Snowy. I carry like a baby in a kennel. He is very faithful and he is very obedient. Hello friends, I am Veda. I have a pet dog. Its name is Pichu. It lives in a kennel. We give him roti, milk, etc. It barks loudly and protects us from strangers. I like my dog very much. Thank you. My pet got. I uh, have a pet got. Its name is Janu. My pet. Good morning everyone. I am Asanush. Today in class 1B. Here I am to tell a few words about my pet dog Poopy. Poopy is very soft and cute little dog. Poopy is white in color with some black dots. I love to play with him always. Mm. Poopy always sleeps beside me. He loves to drink milk and eat balls. Poopy barks at strangers and guards our house. He wages his tail and enjoy. I love Poopy very much. Thank you. Hello, good morning. I am Fiel Kiran from First Standard B. I am telling you. I have a pet dog. His name is Jimmy. He is black and brown in color. He is a German Shepherd dog. He is very strong and active. We have made a kennel for him. His favorite food is egg and meat. He loves to play with the bird. I take him for walk toys a day. I give him bath three times a week. He barks at strangers and alert us. He protects our house from strangers and thieves. I love Jimmy very much. Thank you. Hi, my name is Diali Vavar. I am going to tell about my pet animal. My pet animal is a dog. My pet dogs. He is three years old and white in color. 
गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल आई एम बी एस जगन्नाथ ऑफ फर्स्ट बी एंड वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी एट एज साइंस डे आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट माई पेट एनिमल दिस डॉग इज माई पेट एनिमल हिज नेम इज गैची ही हैज फोर लेग्स टू क्यू टाइस sharp teeth and a small tail on its back he it is brown and black in color he is my best friend jacky has a strong sense of smell my jacky never harms anyone but he guards our home very well in my home everyone loves jacky very much Thank you. Hi, this is my pet Yorker. He is nine months old. He he is Uti dog. He likes to chicken bones and pedigree very much. Thank you. Hi everyone. My son Peeta from first B. I'm going to talk about my favorite pet animal cat. My pet animal is very cute. It is loved by everyone. It is loyal and humble. My pet animal name is Titi. She likes to eat fish and milk. She runs very fast. And she can climb trees very easily. It keeps me company all the time so that I never have to be alone. Hanging out with my pet cat also make my mood better i keep my pet cat at the time of sleeping i i used to, to talk play and putting makeup on it for the past 2 years he is with me it is very friendly thank you good morning all i am badri krishna of class 2a here i Talk about my pet. This is my cute puppy. He, his name is Nikki. He is one month old. Banu is his mother. Nikki is brown in color. His favorite food is milk. He guard our house and he is a faithful animal. He's he's a he's more than a family member to us, and everyone loves him. Thank you. Have a nice day, friends. I am Pravina from Two A. Look, new member of my family. I called him Tony. He is three months old. Tony likes to have biscuits and milk. I am little scared of Tony. Thank you. I am Vishnu K. I am studying second standard. I am introducing my pet. This is my pet Dub. Its name is Tommy. It is black in color. It lives in kennel. It barks loudly. It is. It runs very fast. I give him roti, rice, milk, egg, etc. He protect my home. I love him very much. Thank you. My name is Aadi. Second standard A. My pet animal is dog. Name is a puppy. Puppy is my. This different puppy is color black and brown. Thank you. Good morning to you. My name is Yahan Faith. I study in Prashadhe Public School in Secondary. My class teacher is Mrs. Priya. I am going to say about my pet. It is my pet dog. His name is Jake, and he is black and brown. He barking loudly. He run very fast. 
and his tail is long and thick and his favorite food is bread soaked in milk and fish he loves some family members but he is aggressive to strangers he is my friend and my family member i love him very much thank you thank you all hi friends my pet animal is rabbit i like rabbit very much i like to own a rabbit but i have not much facility to rear that when i grow up i will buy a rabbit dog very small mammal popular in hospital they have thick and soft fur short tail and two long ears they are herbivorous animals they eat leaves plants fruits and grass they can jump very high they are they live in the burrow and come out at day time grass food they they find they find this find in uh, different colors they they can they are very lovely to see thank you hi my name is kaushik these are my pet bird finches finches are very cute and lovely finches eating food is tena and cattle bone watermelon thank you My dear friends and teachers, I am Kirti Verma from Second Standard. Today I am here with my pet dog. This is my pet dog. Her name is Lutie. She is two years old. She is very cute and I love her so much. And I like to play with her all the time. Her favorite food is fish. She is very naughty. She loves me very much good evening everyone today i am going to talk about my pet my pet is a cow her name is nandini she she is almost going to be 4 years old she lives in a shed nearby my house she eats grass grass kanni etc she gives us milk we can make mm, cheese butter etc she she loves to play with us she is very cute good morning to all i am adik uh, studying third standard a uh, i am here to show an experiment on volcanic eruption For this, we need a model of volcano, uh, baking soda, color powder, and vi- vinegar. Let's start. First, we uh, add a pinch of uh, ca- baking soda and and uh, sec- uh, then we add a pinch of color powder. Then last we add we a vinegar a small amount of vinegar Yes Yes This is the volcanic eruption thank you Do you know Aryabhatta is the first artificial 
Russian game app from third end. This is my school project solar system. Do you know friends there are eight plants in our solar system? Yes, there are eight plants in our solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. There are four rocky planets in our solar system. Did you know that there are four rocky planets? Yes. Which of the rocky planets are there? Yes. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. And below that, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune are gas giants. They are made of gas. Did you know solar system is formed from a solar nebula? This is the only star in our solar system. Did you know the star? Yes, the sun. The sun is the only star in our solar system. The smallest planet in our solar system. Did you know that the small planet, smallest planet in our solar system? Yes, Mercury is the smallest planet. And the largest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. And the hottest planet in our solar system is Venus. And the red planet in our solar system is Mars. Saturn has rings around it. It is made up of rocks and ice chunks. Uranus and Neptune is cold planet. These two planets are the coldest planet in our solar system. The Earth is the only planet that have organic life. And Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. You see friends, this is the sun, this is the Mercury. It is very close. When we live in there, we will burn in few seconds. And Venus is the hottest planet. So when we feed in Venus, they, we will burn up all. So the only planet that contains organic life is Earth. And other planets are gas giants. You, do you know that? Yes, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Thank you friends. See you. Hi friends and teachers. I am going to talk about windy mills. Windy mills are mechanical devices. It is used for converted to wind energy to electrical energy. It was discovered by Daniel Halde. There are two, there are two types of uh, windy mills. Horizontal and vertical. We can see windmills at the area of Palakkad and Kanjikot. The source of windmills is wind. The uh, wind the wind comes and the wind comes in contact the windmills. The blade of the windmills rotates in clockwise direction. Then the wind the the wind energy converted to electrical energy. Thank you. Have a nice day. Welcome. This model shows the water cycle. What is water cycle? Water cycle is the continuous movement of water within the earth and the sky. It includes three main processes like evaporation, condensation and precipitation. Evaporation. In the sun's heat, waters from rivers and oceans evaporates and forms water vapor. Transpiration. Water releases from the plants due to the process of transpiration and forms water vapor. This water vapor rises up into the sky. When it cools down, it forms clouds. This process is known as condensation. Next, precipitation. This condensed water back to the earth in the form of rain and snow. So, in water cycle, continuous movement of water occurs within the earth and the sky. Thank you. Good morning everyone. I am Anamika and this is from 38. I am telling about winter. Winter is the colder season of the year. Some places face heavy snowfall. In very cold places, people live in houses made up of ice called igloos. 
people wear warm clothes like jackets. We celebrate Christmas during New Year. This is I make. This is Igloo. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Today I am going to show you the interactive layers of the earth activity. The crust, it is the outer layer of the earth. It is made up of rock and soil. It is 25 miles thick. The mantle, it is the layer below the crust. It is very hot. It is made up of rocks in molten form. It is 1800 miles thick. Core. It is divided into two parts of the outer core. It is the it is liquid in state 1367 miles thick. Inner core. It is solid in state 778 miles thick. Sometimes hot melted rocks called lava come up to the earth's surface. Such places are called volcanoes. Thank you. Hi friends! This is our solar system. The family of sun is called the solar system. The sun is the huge ball of burning gases. It gives us heat and light. There are eight planets in the solar system. In all of to their distance from sun. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Earth, Earth and Pluto are the dwarf planets. Thank you. My name is Rikshita from 3rd B. I am going to do two simple experiments. First experiment, hydrogen balloon. Take vinegar. Baking soda balloon. This is balloon filled with baking soda. You can see. You can see. This is filled with hydrogen. Filling with hydrogen. Thank you. Second experiment. Fish in the bowl. This is a drawing of a fish. This is bow. When I rotate it, you can see the fish is in the bow. It is called illusion. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Shumi Krishnan, class 3B. I, I am going to show you the experiment of water. Three states. I solid. This. This is liquid state. If it's straight down. This is going to liquid state.
Gas vapor. This is cashew stick. This is the cashew stick. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Anila. I am studying in fourth standard. Water cycle. Water cycle has three process: is called evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Evaporation. When the sun heats up, when the sun heats up, rivers and oceans, water, rivers and oceans, water uh, be, become water vapor. It's called evaporation. When the water vapor reaches in the sky, it turns a tiny water drops of water. Thus, water drops along with various gases and dust particles come together and form clouds. This is known as condensation. When the cloud becomes too heavy and cannot hold any more, any more water inside the burns open, it rains or snow this snow. This is known as precipitation. Water cycle is a continuous process of evaporation, condensation and precipitation. Thank you. Good morning everyone. We are all celebrating National Science Day India on 28 February. Every year to mark the discovery of Diamond effect by Indian physicist Sir C. V. Raman on 28 February 1928. Today I am going to explain the process of water cycle. The cycle starts when water on the surface of the earth evaporates. Evaporation means the sun heats the water which turns into a gas. Then water collects as water vapor in the sky. Then the water falls from the sky as rain, snow, sleet or hail. This circulation of water is called a water cycle. Thank you. Today I am going to do an experiment. I have 200 ml of water in a measuring cup. I am going to pour it in a glass. I have to take the shape of the glass which I poured in. Next time I am going to pour it in a, in a glass, the, the water to the shape of the glass which I poured. I poured it in another glass, it took the shape of the glass which I poured in. Because the water's molecules are less closely packed, that's why it, it can take the container shape easily. We can go to the next experiment. The next experiment, I am going to look that does water have volume or not. I took a syringe and took some water in the syringe and I tried to I covered the nozzle and try to push it. I can push because that water has Water has volume, that's why I can't push that. Cannot. Bye. 
Hi everyone, I am Sharath, studying in 4th standard. Today I am going to show that how to make water filter. So let us start. So let us see what are the things to make water filter. Bottle, sand, stone, gravel, cotton, dirty water to purify. Take this cotton and put it in the bottle's hole. Like this. Now take the sand. Now take the gravel. Now take the stone. Now take this dirty water. This is the purified water. Thank you. Density experiment with lemon. My name is Raya Sandeep, studying in class 4th A. Today I am going to do an experiment to check the facts that the things lesser than the density of water or any other liquid floats in it. For this, we need two glasses filled with common tap water, common salt and two lemons. The procedure is very simple. Take a lemon and put it into the water. See what happens next. The lemon sinks in the water. Now take some salt and add it to the other glass of water. Mix until the salt dissolves completely in the water. Now take a lemon and put it into the salt solution. See what happens next. We can see clearly that the lemon doesn't sink but floats. This is because the density of lemon is lesser than the density of water. So it floats. On other hand, the density of lemon in common water is higher than the density of water. So it sinks. Thank you. Next I am going to demonstrate in front of you air exerts pressure. For this, we need a glass filled with water up to the brim and a piece of cardboard and a bowl. Take, a, the, take the glass filled with water up to the brim. Make sure there is no air bubbles and now I will take a cardboard piece and fix it on the glass. Now, I will turn, quickly turn it upside down. See, water is not flowing out. This is because upward pressure from the air is more than the downward pressure exerted by the water. So, water does not float, therefore air exerts pressure. Thank you. Hello everyone, myself Hanna of class 5. Today I am trying an experiment. For this experiment, 
I need two glasses of water, common salt, two lemons of same size. For this glass, I am pouring common tap water. Now I am taking this lemon and put into the glass. See, it is singing. For this glass, I am adding two spoons of salt. I will mix till the salt dissolve completely. Now I am taking this lemon and put into the glass. See, it is floating because the salt makes higher density than the density of water. So it is floating. The other glass, the lemon has higher density than the density of water. So it is sinking. Thank you. Hi, I am Adina Vijay. Today I am going to tell about photosynthesis. Photo is a Greek word for light. And synthesis is a Greek word for putting together. Photosynthesis is using light to put things together. Plants use this process to make food with the help of sunlight, carbon dioxide, water. Plants have tiny openings called stomata, which is present in leaves, which is through taken carbon dioxide. Plants also, they also uses water and other nutrients to make food which is absorbed by the roots. Leaves have tiny pigments called chlor chloroplasts. These pigments take sunlight, carbon dioxide, water and turn them into sugar and oxygen. The sugar is taken by the plants as their food and the oxygen is thrown out the of the atmosphere. This process as a whole is called photosynthesis. Thank you. I am going to do an experiment which will show you base, basic natural of liquids. For this experiment, I am going to take a bowl, lemon, turmeric, water, detergent. Now, I will pour this water. Now, I will add some turmeric. It's yellow. Now I'm going to take some detergent. See, it's red because detergent acts as a base. Now I will squeeze this lemon. See, it's yellow again because if turmeric comes with any contact with acid solution, it will turn yellow only. So here we can use turmeric indicator whether the substance acidic or base. Ice cubes, thread, salt. Salt top of the thread. Look, it's hanging because salt wa water has lower melting point. Thank you. Good morning, all. My name is Nitesri SV. I am studying in. For B. Today I am going to tell you about three types of soil. Soil is the top covering of earth surface. They are they are used to grow crops. There are many types of soil in India. There these are the three types of soils. P 
clay soil, black soil and sand soil. Hi friends, my name is Ashika. I am from 4B. I am going to tell about black cycle of a butterfly. Butterfly lays egg on the leaves of the plants. This eggs catch the ants uh, called larva or caterpillars comes out of the eggs. The caterpillar first feeds of the eggs uh, shell from the which it is born. It then starts feeding on the leaves and starts it grow. The caterpillar sheds its sting several times so that it is grow protective uh, layer around itself. Itself. The stage of pupa, the pupa underground is a series of chains after uh, about 15 uh, days uh, a beautiful butterfly a beautiful butterfly palms into its wings and make them strong after few months the wings become strong enough the on the butterfly is able to fly thank you have a nice day Good morning. My name is Abhinav Rajiv. I am from 4B. I am going to show volcano eruption. We need baking soda, red color and vinegar. First, we add some baking soda. Then we add some red color, mix it, now add the cake. Thank you. My name is Mayukpi. I am going to do an experiment with magnifying lens. The experiment was, the experiment, we want to think that when tissue paper, then we want a matchstick, then we want a magnifying lens. We can do that experiment. The experiment was, we want to put the magnifying lens like this, then the magnifying the, the sun, sun rays extract. With the magnifying lens that will extract that 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 sunlight power then it will give to the matchstick then we can do that experiment it will uh, burn or not we can check it then we want to do the, we want to hold that correctly we want to hold yeah we want to we want to check that out. That's why that it but it is but it's burnt that's the experiment it's work okay that was the experiment it works thank you I am Mehul studying in fifth standard so today I am going to do a earth pressure experiment for this experiment I want a piece of cardboard a glass full of water Put the piece of cardboard top of the glass, flip it, wait a moment, lay the hand.
So you can see the paper is stuck in the glass because of pressure. Thank you. Hi, I am BK Edelson, Standard 58. I am doing a new experiment. First, take a glass. Second, glass of water. Third, turmeric powder. Four, detergent powder. Fifth, half lemon. Let's start. First, pour the water into the glass. Take some turmeric powder. Mix it well. The color is yellow. Turmeric is natural indicator. Second, you should take some detergent powder. Mix it well. The color is red. Soap is base. Third, use the lemon. Mix it well. Lemon is acidic. The color again changes to yellow. Turmeric changes its color in acid and base. Thank you. Hi, I am Vedika from class 5. Through this model, I will show you how an inclined plane works. An inclined plane is a slope or a ramp or a flat surface kept slanted. This is how it works. In showrooms and in long vehicles, people use an uh, inclined plane to load cars and heavy materials. In olden days, people used to push the round timber through the inclined plane. As it is dangerous, people invented the way of using inclined plane using with a rope. The, in this model, this is an inclined plane. Through this model, I am going to show you the different types of levers. Before we start, what is a lever? This is a lever. A lever is a rod or a bar that can move freely about a fixed point. There are three types of levers. Class 1 lever, class 2 lever and class 3 lever. There are also three parts of lever. Fulcrum, load and effort. This is class 1 lever. A seesaw is a classic example for class 1 lever. In this, the load is in one side, fulcrum in between and effort on the other side. Next is class 2 lever. In this lever, fulcrum is in one side, load in between and effort on the other side. A wheelbarrow is the best example for class 2 lever. The last is class 3 lever. In this lever, fulcrum is in one side, load on the other side and effort in between. A fishing rod is a good example for class 3 lever. Now, I am going to show you all some experiments with water. So, let's start. From our first experiment, we can learn that water remains at the same level always. For this experiment, we need two buckets. One bucket filled with water and other empty. We also need a transparent tube. First, we have to put one end of the tube into the water and the other end, uh, into the bucket filled with water and the other end to the empty bucket. Take the end of the uh, tube from the empty bucket and suck out the air and let water occupy. 
occupy the space of the n. So let's account the n. You can see that the water has reached till here.